all right welcome back now we want to start implementing some of the features of this watch page this watch page the like the like the dislike the subscribe and also the view count so we're going to start with the view count now as you can see we're still having our static view count which is not supposed to be so we want our view count to be dynamic all right so the way we're going to do the view count is not only for logged in user also anonymous user accounts and view count so need to be uh, recorded so we're going to use the device of the user that is watching the video as the IP of the device and the session of the user so that in that case we make our view count more unique rather than just making it a click event like when the user clicks on the video it counts in that case one user can just keep on clicking and clicking and clicking and it will just keep on counting that's not what we want so we want the view counts to be kind of unique so we're going to use per device and uh, the session of the device to record our view count so that's what we're going to do now so for us to start now we head over to our code editor so we're going to create a separate model for this okay right. yeah we're going to create a new model we're going to call it view count let's call it our view count on here we're going to have a couple of feeds like the app address the session and also the video that the user is watching so we have a relationship with the video <coughs> custom models dot cascade all right so we can also have the related name if you want you can just put related name all right all right so next we get the IP address happy address is it gonna be a very a simple char feed then also we want to get the session of the device and start all right that's that so we can just on this we're gonna return a simple S string presentation of the safe dot IP address all right so that's for that so if we save let's uh, make migration quit our server first okay we are having some kind of errors it says the name view count is invalid all right I think probably because we use uh, dash let's use an underscore c okay it's working fine so let's quit our sub manage let's try make migration thank you start our server all right so we have our model set up so we can head back to our view so we're already having the video so we're going to get the ip set it equals to the request dot meta all right this will give us the ip address so we can use the remote underscore address is you grab the IP address of the device all right so we're going to create a check and says if sorry if the, we want to check if the device is not in session that is there is no session created of the device uh, that is watching this video we want to create a new view which is uh, creating a new view right so we're going to see if not if you if not in view count 100 of theta where the video is equal to the video that is coming from this channel and section as a current section which is equal to the request or section it was a session 
the session key let's not forget to import the if you can't so if not sorry if not not if not in is if not so say if not view can that object does fit where the video equals to the video and the section is equal to the current section of whatever device that is viewing this video if it's not present we want to create a view sorry don't forget to do semicolon because this is an if statement so if it is not present there so we want to create a view which could be the view can video we want to create an object of the, uh, the instance we want to create an instance of the view can sorry then get the IP address okay all right so now say view dot save all right so okay so once we save our view we cannot uh, query by getting our video views from our view can't model save video views you can't that's objects dot feature where videos equal to the video alright so once we get that we want to get the can't so we'll say dot can't this is then we cannot pass it into our model by saying uh, let's call it you can't equal the video views all right so that which is the, the template i mean so here we have our view can't we'll move the static value and we just turn it to our dynamic and value to we'll call it view can't v underscore can't double check okay yeah v underscore can't all right v underscore can't so if you save this now and let's try let's check if our server is up okay server is still running so let's refresh so let's try it one more time let's try this all right you can see we are having our view which is one view all right that's good so let's um let's try for the other video all right so you get one view because it's only my device that is viewing it now you get it all right so it's working fine if if i venture let's go back go back to the home page if we click on the second video you can see our view count is still one because the view is unique so i'm watching this video for the second time now it's not recurring to two because the view is unique because you see the same session and it's still the same ip address that saves you in the video so that's why you see we still have one here all right so that's for you so every other place that we have a static view count we can start updating it now for now this um suggested video we'll leave this for now when we are doing series video we'll update if you can't i think in the home page let's check all right let's try and update this uh, if you can't so i'll be showing the current view can't in uh this and um, view can't here we can just use the related name i say video dot related name we call the related name 
with the related name of um, you can't let's say video of you can't dot can't all right so let's save this hopefully we get a view so if we head back to the channel if you refresh beautiful we are having one view and one view but it's not looking good now let's just quickly add a little space to that and then just give it a little space all right so if we save and we head back and we refresh I think it's looking better now so each video has one view because I'm only using one device with the same IP address probably when uh, this session expires and uh, maybe a new session is created it will increase to two so that's all that so I'll end this video here now in our next uh, video we'll be working on how to create the uh, the like and the dislike uh, functionality and also the subscribe functionality so we're doing them piece by piece all right don't forget to subscribe and then hit the like button thank you guys